Today, I want to talk about investment cycles and how we generate some of our investment ideas. However, before I go on, I must remind you that under Hong Kong SFC regulation, we're not allowed to make recommendations and none of what follows should be taken as being investment advice. Notwithstanding that, if you are looking for some investment ideas, have a think about the following. Most investors are fairly familiar with the CAPEX cycle. At the bottom of the cycle, there's limited production, but as demand starts to rise, prices can increase, profits expand, and money is attracted to the sector. The problem is what then happens if we're not careful is too much capacity gets added, production starts to run ahead of demand, and prices start to come under pressure, particularly from companies that have borrowed and need to fund their capital costs. If lower prices stimulate demand, all is well. But if not, and particularly if capacity is still coming on stream, prices have to be cut further, cash flow declines, and some companies start to go bust, and the cycle has to start all over again. We track the CAPEX cycle because creative accounting often occurs just at the point of the downturn as companies try to hide their operations and not going quite as well as investors believe. For example, they can pull forward revenue, delay costs, or start capitalizing costs to inflate their operating cash flow. The problem is, using any of these tools, it always results in overvaluation, and later down the line, when reality arrives, starts investors losing money. To counter this behavior and see who's really creating value, we use the Bucephalus Operating Return on Utilized Capital. This looks through many of the tricks used by creative CFOs to see and understand what is a company's real, sustainable operating cash flow. We can then identify what appear to be value creators at a sweet spot in the CapEx cycle. Afterwards, we take these names and run them through our governance accounting and peer performance scores just as a double, triple check for creative accounting. Finally, we use the Bucephalus Idea Generator, which looks at Boruch Yield and compares it to both the company's history and its peers to see who is actually cheap and expensive. Every month, we can then produce a list of names that we think make interesting investment ideas for our clients. However, as we said earlier, we can't make recommendations to the public, but there are ways that we can help you with your process. Now, if you'd like to know more, please visit our website or send us an email. Alternatively, to keep up with some of the themes and ideas in our research, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for your time.